Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the Cisco CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Study Course. In this video, we will walk you through the overview of Spoto CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Course. The reason we launched this course is that Cisco CCIE Routing and Switching Lab exam will be revised to Cisco CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Lab exam in April 27th, 2020, and the exam topics have been dramatically changed. The exam introduces 25% SDN, 15% automation and programmability. None of them is covered by traditional routing and switching course. Regarding SDN, it consists of SD access and SD WAN, which will be explained in more details in the following courses. This slide shows the components of this course. We have organized the both SD Access and SD WAN as elementary and advanced courses. The learning contents fully comply with CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure official exam topics, and the difficulty of these learning modules are increased gradually. We have also included network solutions from real scenarios in this course. Therefore, the learning outcome would benefit both lab exam and daily work. The SD Access course, adding together, are about 16 hours in total. The SD1 courses, adding together, are about 18 hours in total. Develop Python course is about 8 hours. The entire course is about 42 hours. It covers the Cisco's latest technologies of the enterprise infrastructure. Should the student be not going to sit the CCIE EI exam, they would still get huge advantage and being outstanding after learning this course. Let's deep dive into the course details. The first module is SD Access. It covers design, deployment, segmentation, and assurance. These are the four modules. In this module, we will go through how to build underlay, how to design overlay, to use single site or multi site in your design. How to implement your ideas in Cisco DNA Center. How to plan policy such as macro level segmentation, VN, micro level segmentation, SGT. How to use assurance function in Cisco DNA Center to manage and maintain the network, etc. This slide shows you the learning contents of the SD Access course at Spoto. In SD Access Elementary course, we will spend about 8 hours teaching what is SDN, what is Cisco DNA Architect, what is DNA Center, Introduction of DNAC Web UI Installation and Initialization of DNAC and ISE DNAC Integration with ISE What is SD Access? How to Configure Policy? How does Control Plan, Border, and Edge work in the SD Access? Then we will go through how to design and deploy a network based on SD access in single site in our staged lab. In SD access advanced course, we will spend about 8 hours teaching in-depth explanation of the working protocol of the SD access control plan LISP, segmentation technology, Master the multi-site design and deployment. How to use automation to simplify the daily workload. 
how to use assurance to manage the network. Once the SD access is deployed in the network, regardless which switch that the end user being onboard, we no longer need to worry about which VLAN that a user belongs to and which IP should be assigned. Regardless how the user moves within the Compass network, the user access authorization would always follow the user's identity, which is managed according to the user group. Furthermore, with the assistance of Cisco DNA Center, the entire deployment process does not need to manual command line input. This approach would completely change the career paths of network engineers. SD1 is another module that occupies about 25% of SDN exam topics. We need to understand the role of the various components of SD1 and how they work. We need to be familiar with how to deploy an SD1 network and how to configure policy. This slide shows the learning contents of the SD1 course at Sparto. In SD1 elementary course, we will spend about 8 hours teaching the introduction of the working principle of SD1. How to deploy an SD1 network. How the overlay management protocol works. Then we will spend about 10 hours in the SD1 advanced course teaching how to quickly deploy SD1 on a large scale. Explain the security policy of SD1. SD1 can help us quickly deploy branch networks. It may take a week to deploy a site in a traditional way. Now using SD1 solution, we can deploy multiple sites instantly. SD1 could achieve intelligent path selection in the enterprise network environment by fully utilizing the Internet, MPLS, and VPN circuits. SD1 uses virtualization technology as well. The solution can be deployed in a public and private clouds. After the module of SD Access and SD1 is the Automation and Programmability Learning module. We will spend about 8 hours in the Develop Python course, teaching how to call DNAC and vManage API through Python to achieve automation and programmability. Automation and programmability allows us to customize workflow, reduce repeatable work, and bring unlimited possibilities to the network. In the near future, enterprises would no longer need so many network engineers. We would better to be one step ahead to understand how the SD access, SD1, automation, and programmability work prior to the companies considering employment redundancy. The Sporto EI course is not just for exam, but also designed according to the demands of the enterprises who are constantly revolving to match and deliver customers' requirements. In Sparto EI course, we teach the latest technology, grant students the knowledge and skills to surpass other network engineers who only understand traditional routing and switching technology. Why choose Sparto? This is a very good question. At Sparto, from product side, our course teaching the latest technology and helping our students being beyond excellence. We will follow the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Lab Topic version 1.0 to update our courses. The updated courses will be available to you in the next 12 months. Our updated course would be fully complying to Cisco's CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Lab Exam Topics with the network solutions from the real scenario included in our courses, the students would be more confident in their daily work. We have fully staged cloud lab allocated to our students. They can book the lab and practice at their own pace. 
From the service side, our experienced tutors will provide one-on-one -on -one assistance should students have any questions. The fast service response speed will meet your expectation. From the brand side, with our 17 years of IT training experience, we have helped more than 2,100 students to achieve their CCI certification. 96.8% of our students passed their CCI lab exam on the first attempt. Should you have any questions or need more information regarding our course or service, please feel free to contact us. In addition to CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure, we also provide training for CCIE Security, CCIE Data Center, CCIE Service Provider, CISSP, PMP, and AWS, etc. Should anything that we can help, please feel free to let us know. We will do our best to deliver that. Thanks for watching.